Chapter 6 To Live is to Continue Living Today, let's further explore the reality of life. Due to different four quotients and different dimensions of life, humans have different attitudes towards work. Those with low spiritual quotient, SQ, and moral quotient, MQ, simply work out of selfish motive and attitude. Only very few people with high SQ and MQ work with a pure altruistic attitude or motive. Most people's motive and attitude fall somewhere in between. Those with lower spiritual quotient, SQ, and moral quotient, MQ, have a lower dimension of life. They tend to have more needs, desires, suffering, and vexations. On the other hand, those with higher SQ and MQ have a higher dimension of life. They tend to have fewer needs, desires, and vexations are content with what they have and lead a happy and peaceful life. Those with higher spiritual quotient, SQ, and moral quotient, MQ, are more popular. They treat others equally and refrain from imposing on others what they themselves don't desire. They are honest, humble, friendly, open, humorous, contented, frugal, generous, have no interest in competing with others, etc. On the other hand, those with lower SQ and MQ tend to be ungrateful, envious, deceitful, discontented, and like to compete, complain, compare, seek pleasure, etc. Consequently, they are less popular. In this era, due to society's lack of emphasis on cultivating moral quotient, MQ, most people, whether rich or poor, tend to be discontented, envious, enjoy competing and seeking pleasure, but are reluctant to give. For the poor, their greatest wish is survival. Some people toil in fields, Some work long hours, day and night, like oxen. With mega earnings, urban residents use them to buy apartments, burdened by mortgages and enslaved to their homes, while rural inhabitants use them to build bigger and bigger houses. Despite living in expensive homes, these individuals are spiritually impoverished. There is little joy and freedom in their lives. They are simply living in order to continue living. As for the rich who have accumulated wealth, they may buy multiple apartments, build houses or purchase fancy cars to show their status. They work even harder than the poor, trading their lives for money. Due to high expenses and strong greed, they often take risks to make further investments, while many blind investments lead to bankruptcy. Through the wellness retreats we offer for entrepreneurs, we find that entrepreneurs are often mentally and physically exhausted. Many of them are burdened with chain debts and negative assets. Due to immense psychological pressure, most of them suffer from long-term anxiety, resulting in a poorer state of health compared to ordinary people. After humans have fulfilled their basic needs, if they have surplus wealth, most people, due to low spiritual quotient, SQ, are less inclined to think about elevating the dimension of their lives. Instead, they prefer to engage in leisure activities, games, travel, singing, dancing, sports, and various forms of entertainment. They cultivate various hobbies to pass the time, wasting their lives. 
As humans accumulate more wealth, they tend to pursue a more luxurious lifestyle, such as mansions, fancy cars, beautiful companions, fine dining, travelling around the world, jewellery, etc. Some individuals are also fond of collecting antiques, calligraphy and paintings. There is a group of people who have a strong desire for fame, status, dignity and prestige. They enjoy holding positions of power, being leaders and controlling others. They prefer to have as many subordinates as possible and even seek admiration from others. Another group of people is passionate about literature and art. Many of them rely on their creative writing or art performance to make a living. However, nowadays, art has become increasingly commercialised and mediocre, lacking the innocence and purity found in the works of past art masters. Those who are skilled at marketing themselves are in the spotlight, while true masters and experts are in the grassroots. Many people enjoy learning and acquiring knowledge, but most of them do so to better satisfy their own needs and desires. Only a few individuals have a genuine curiosity and are willing to explore the truth and reality of the universe and life, and to develop and cultivate their spiritual quotient, SQ, and moral quotient, MQ. Life is full of diverse experiences that are difficult to fully describe. As said in Dream of the Red Chamber, what a mess. As each one leaves, another takes the stage. We mistakenly regard a foreign land as our homeland. How absurd it is that in the end, all our labour is making wedding clothes for others to wear. <laughs>